Hello and welcome to the seventh in a set of tutorials for XFX Toolkit version 2, now with added object tracking. If you haven't got the plugin pack installed, please follow the link below. Next we're going to look at subtitles, clocks and countdowns. You'll find the two subtitle plugins in the title inspector and I've dropped one of each on the timeline. That's the 14 by 9 and this is the 16 by 9. The only difference between the two is that the 16 by 9 is wider and this will match up with the safe area, 16 by 9 safe area plugin as well. Let's have a look at the 14 by 9 one and what it does is it builds a subtitle up from the bottom. So we've got two lines here and it says enter for a new line. So if I actually do that, and put some more information in. It'll actually push everything up, so you don't have to manually reposition a subtitle every time, which is really handy. Also, the black box behind the subtitle will actually scale to the text. So as you can see here, as I delete the line, the black box is shrinking with it. Also handy if you want to do, if you need to put a break in, if you just hit return, then that will do a break and everything will rearrange itself. Uh, so you might have a subtitle that's got a really long line at the top and then only a few words below and you can just put a break in to make the thing look a bit neater by condensing it down. Um, I can actually move that up and down. So um, if you have maybe um, some text or something, uh, a graphic that you need to get on, you could put it up to the top or above the graphic on there. That's no problem. And you can also control the panel. You can have that on or off and control the density of the background on there. Also, one trick here, because it actually follows um, the, this bounding box, if you've got a bit of text that is just a bit too big, you can just slightly stretch it and that will drop it back down. But keep an eye on the safe areas. But that's one trick just to get a bit more text on a line. One thing to say before we move on, these are plugins and they will burn in on the output unless you've got them selected as a role and you turn that role off. They are not part of the Final Cut Pro subtitle system in the app. They are separate and they're good for putting, if you've got a quick interview with somebody in a different language in a program and you don't need subtitles right the way through, they're just a very good way to get the words on the screen quickly. Next are the clocks and countdowns, and you won't find those in the title inspector because they're generators. So go to the generators, XFX toolkit, and you'll find four of them, two different types because we're using two different frame rates on there. I'm in 25 frames a second, so I'll click on that hit E to put it on the timeline. And as you can see, we've got a 30 second clock counting down before the program starts. There are controls in the inspector. You can say, well, maybe not a 30, I just want a 10, and that will shorten the clock, as you can see on there and also it comes preloaded with what we think most program users will use um, so parts duration and dates and other information frames you might want to change that if you're using a different one and also down here we've got a drop zone where you can drop your company logo in and move it and scale it some people like to have their production company logo on the clock there. One thing to note, um, if you're doing supply for AS11, then there are very strict rules about the clock and you can't have all this data on it. So please check your broadcaster delivery specs. Now have a look at the countdowns. Again, we'll use the 25 frames a second one, but these 10 second ones, they're very newsy. So it's like a news slate. Um, you know, we can put whatever we like in here. Breaking news. It's got three data entry points, the title, the segment, and the duration. And then we've got a countdown that goes to black as well at three. So this is great if you're doing a news report or satellite feed, anything like that. And the bars on the bottom are so you can just have a quick reference on the waveform just to check everything there. There are two sets for the US and the UK that are loaded up in there. So two clocks and two countdowns to make life a lot easier. Get, they get used a lot and we've had a lot of feedback on those. In the next tutorial, we're gonna be looking at some picture split plugins.